Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Seema Modi. A longtime market forecaster is giving a bullish case for stocks, even though Treasury yields are at pre-pandemic levels and stocks are at record highs. Jim Bianco, president of Bianco Research. Welcome back, Jim. It's good to have you on today. Thanks for having me. So tell us why, with stocks at where they're trading at right now, that you still remain bullish on equities moving even higher from here. What's the thesis? It is a mania. I know that word scares people, but it shouldn't. Let's go back to the 1990s mania. Greenspan in December of 1996 said irrational exuberance. I think he was correct, but it wasn't until March of 2000 and 300 percent higher that the Nasdaq peaked. So we're somewhere in that range. Market is still going to run the mania phase. There will probably be a problem on the other side, but that's not tomorrow or the next day, at least I don't think right now. So the great thing about a mania is you make a lot of money fast. The hard thing about a mania is getting out with that money. Uh, interest rates, I know that they're heading higher. I think that most people view that as a reflation trade, and that is a synonymous for real growth. And it's because it's a real growth trade, they're okay with interest rates moving higher. Should that morph into an inflation fear, that would be another problem. I think that happens later this year, but I don't think that happens right away. So I think the path to least resistance is more money gets thrown at the market and it goes up. Wow. All right. Well, then should the market be paying more attention to the move that we're seeing in Treasury yields? And if so, why? It should be paying more attention to it. Uh, because it has the potential to be something important. Rising rates by themselves is neither bullish or bearish for uh, the stock market. It's why they're rising, as I alluded to before. If they're rising because earnings are coming back, people are getting their jobs back, standards of living are going up, that's okay. Rates can go up even though the stock market, and the stock market will go up with it. But if it's rising because inflation is coming back, meaning that your dollar will purchase less next year than it does this year, that's a problem. That's why we have to watch rising rates to see if inflation becomes a problem. Right now, most people don't think inflation is a problem. They think it's a reflation trade, so the path to the stock market will continue to be up. You know, Jim, as we look to this year, um, everyone's expecting that second half recovery, whether it's the travel world or consumer staples. But what would you say is the biggest risk facing this market and, and economy, whether it's the slower than expected vaccine rollout, U.S.-China trade relations um, or inflation, which now is starting to get um, a bit more attention from economists out there? I think you you answered the question in the question and that it is that everything goes well and we have the rollout and it goes as planned and everything starts to come back to life or come back to normal uh, sooner than everybody thinks. Why? Because if we're going to throw uh, $1.9 trillion of stimulus at it on top of all the stimulus that we've thrown at it, on top of the CARES Act uh, as well, to on top of all of the monetary stimulus, because as you listen to Jeremy Powell, the economy's not in a good place now, and he's right. So we're going to throw money at it now to try and get it better. You roll out with all that money, you have inflation. That's your problem as you move forward from here. So this market might be set up that later on down the road, the problem is you get your wish. You get your wish of a good market, and that produces inflation, something we haven't seen for 30 years. And that will be, I think, problematic because every time we do get inflation, I know I have to go back to the 80s and 90s the last time we saw it, but historically, right. it is not a good thing for equity markets. I know everybody says it is, but we always do when we get inflation. We say, oh, no, stocks will be fine. But in reality is, they're really not. So I think that's the biggest fear I have is whether or not inflation then returns. Then what about second. if it's not good for stocks, is it good for Bitcoin, Jim, inflation? It can be because Bitcoin is an alternative to the financial system and inflation would be something that would shake your confidence in the current financial system and current central banking as well, too. And it would be an argument for getting your money away from it. Well, it's above 50,000. So perhaps some hold that hold uh, that that argument there. We'll leave the conversation. Uh, Jim, thank you. Wide ranging discussion thank today with Jim Bianco. And thank you all for watching Trading Nation. I'm Seema Modi. See you next time.